Yo, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you how we can drag and drop items in a list view. And it's actually really easy to do so, so let me show you by jumping into the code. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which brings us to this home page. And this is just a blank scaffold. So I've just got a app bar here and you should have a blank app like this. So this is where we'll begin. Now, the first thing we've got to do is to create a list of tiles. So let's just keep this real simple. I'm just going to create a list called my tiles. And in here, let's just place some strings. So I'm just going to say A, B, C, and D. And in the body of the scaffold, the main widget we're going to use today is called the reorderable list view. So this is going to require us to fill out the children. And so for this, I'm going to use a quick for loop and go through each tile in my tiles. And we're going to return a list tile. And let's just give it a title, which is going to be a text widget and just return the tile. Okay, so it's going to print these letters. Now we still have a red squiggle on this because we have to specify the on reorder method. So on reorder, we're going to specify this one, but I'm actually going to fill this out in just a second. And let's just see what's going on. Now, looks like there's an error because we have to give the children a key. So if you look at this list view, or sorry, this list tile, you can fill out this value key. And I'm just going to give it the tile. So this key is important for just to keep track of where everything is as we order the children around. So let's just save this. And let's just restart it. Cool. So you can see A, B, C, D. Now you can just drag by holding down one of these tiles and you can see I can select the A. Now if I place this somewhere, it just goes back to A, B, C, D. So that's because we have to fill out this reorder method. Okay. So let's just create a method up here called the reorder method. And I'm going to call it update my tiles. And let's accept some parameters. So I need to know the old index. So where were you before? And the new index, where are you trying to go? Cool. And so now we can just say, update my tiles and give them the two parameters. So I'm just going to set state here and we need to do two things. So we have to get the tile we are moving and then we have to place the tile in the new position. Right. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, let's get the tile. So I'm just going to call it final tile equals to my tiles dot remove at, and it wants to give it an index. So let's remove it from the old index. So this will actually remove it from the my tiles list and then it will return it into this tile. So now that we have the tile, let's place it where the new index is and just place that tile. So I'm just going to save this and restart it. And so check this out. I'm going to select the D and move it up to the top and looks like the reordering works. So it looks like it's fine, but one thing to note is this actually only works for when you're going upwards. Like if I select the A and go up, it reorders accordingly. But if you actually try to select one of the top ones and try to go down, we're going to get this error. Okay. We're going to have some range error. So I'm just going to grab my iPad and just explain real quick what we're going to do here. So let's say we have these four tiles, A, B, C, D, and the index for each of them in the position on the list should be starting from zero 
one, two, and three, right? Now, we actually had no issues when we were moving up the list, right? So if I just think about that scenario for a second, let's say I chose D and I'm gonna move it into the position of B. So let's just have a look at some of the variables, right? So the old index is going to be three and the new index that we're trying to go to is one, right? And so the code for that one is what we wrote before and it's pretty simple, which is my tiles. And we're just going to insert in the new position, our tile. And then this will just push everything down accordingly and we had no issues. So it will just push D into that B position. So that works smoothly. Now the error occurred when we were actually trying to move down the list, right? So let's say we are selecting A and we're trying to go to the very bottom of the list. Now, when you go to the bottom of the list, the new index is actually four. And so what actually happens is we move A to the bottom. Now, everything naturally in the list needs to shuffle upwards, right? So what ends up happening is A should actually be in the position of three, right? But the new index, it will tell us that it's four. Okay, so that's why we're getting an error. So all we need to do is just the new index, we're just going to minus minus, which just means to subtract one from myself. Okay, and then after that, the code will be the same. So this is just a minor little adjustment to avoid the error that we got earlier. Cool, so an adjustment is needed when moving the tile down the list. So first of all, how do you know if you're moving down? Well, if the old index is less than the new index, then we're moving downwards. And if that's the case, let's just subtract one from the new index to place it in the correct position. So if I just save this, I'm gonna select one of the bottom ones and try to move it upwards. And there we go, it works perfectly fine. So this is how you can drag and drop the list items in a list view. And that's it. So hopefully that was easy to understand. Play around with it and let me know below if you have any issues at all. I'll try to come around and help you out. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.